Y01radio.co.uk Y01 Radio Weather. Friday looking like a really nice day today across the Vale of York. Sunny and dry, presently 13 degrees, rising to 21 during the lunch break today with a moderate pollen count and UV. Going to be dry tonight in Moulton with lows of around 7 degrees into single figures. Sun will set just before 8. Saturday looking sunny and dry and cloudy on Sunday. Y01 Radio Weather. Brought to you by Flamingo Land. Okay. Right, let's do this. The best day of the week. Here's a news flash, just Friday, Friday, Friday. Hey, 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 can you tell us what's going on here? Nearly the end of August, right? Just live for the week. 30th of today. Everybody's working for the weekend. In the morning, in the morning. Right, let's do this. Lots coming up in the next 20 minutes. We've got Sarah's secret survey and did you know tomorrow tickets go on sale for Oasis. Are you in the ballots? Yeah, me too. Any chance of getting tickets? Mm, don't know. <laughs> Probably not. On the way, Post Malone and Luke Coombs' brand new music. Right now, back to the 80s. Simply Red and the right thing. <laughs> the alarm is already going off. off. You're about to snooze it, snooze it, but... Wait, you found the right show. It's showtime. We're four in the morning on the Wire One Radio. Hello, you. Welcome to Monday. Wire One Radio watching. That is simply red and the right thing. Griffo in the morning. Eight minutes past seven. Good morning. Stop snoozing. Let's do it for Friday, shall we? Shake yourself. Get out of bed. And get to work. You found the right show. So it's Friday, payday for a lot of people today. It's the 30th of August. And by the time we get to Sunday on the big summer tour, we are into September. A lot of the kids go back to school, don't they, next week. Are you pleased with that as a parent? I mean, it's a challenge, isn't it? Six weeks of what are we doing today and are we nearly there yet? It's Send them off to school at the start of next week. You'll put your photos on social media. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? And then you get your day back. Unless, of course, you're working a shift. Anyway, good morning. Hopefully you're good. Day 243 of the year. It is Griffo in the morning. And I don't know if you've been in a supermarket yet. Selection boxes. It's all there. Stocking up for Christmas already. Well too early. Today, just the 30th of August, you'll go in, you'll hear Mariah Carey, Shaky Wham and all the other Christmas fair. 116 sleeps left to go. I know we all love Christmas in our own little worlds, but goodness me, that's far too early. Anyway, lots to talk about on the show today. I'm very, very excited and anticipating potentially not getting Oasis tickets, but if I do, I will be absolutely thrilled tomorrow. Um, we've got ticket price news on that in a minute, if you're thinking how much they're going to cost. Just a couple of days ago, I got myself in the Oasis ballot. Did you do that? Just to give you an incentive or an extra chance of getting tickets. I've got the email through at last, um, and I'm just hoping and praying. We did that for Sabrina Carpenter for our daughter, Alba. And we managed to get some in the end, but it cost an arm and a leg. It cost an absolute fortune. So I'm hoping it's not going to dint the wallet or the credit card too much tomorrow. Fingers crossed for everybody on that. Today on the show, we're talking about food. We like to talk about food here at Y1 Radio for good reason. Everybody loves a bit of food, don't they? Okay, so what's the food you didn't like as a child you still don't like today? And for me, never liked butter. Always had sandwiches, crackers and all that kind of stuff dry. And uh, if anybody puts any kind of, you know, butter in front of me nowadays, I still don't feel great. I'm like, you've got to get it out of my space. Please just put it over there. So that is the one for me. There are a variety of other things as well. But I'm going to get the ball rolling with butter. I don't know why. I'm sure it's in little things that I eat here and there. Don't eat garlic bread because of that variety of things. So what food didn't you like as a child you still don't like today? And we've all got them. 
01904 53 0043. That is on WhatsApp. Loads of you already getting in touch with the show. Always appreciate that. Uh, lots going on in the world, which we're going to talk about uh, very, very soon, including today. If you're a football fan, it is the transfer deadline. And uh, many of the Premier League clubs will be doing business today. Not so sure about the National League. Uh, York City in a good place. The Minster Men, of course, uh, doing all right in the league. I know it was a loss of the weekend, down to ninth in the National League. But uh, again, this weekend. So, summer transfer window closes today. Oasis tickets on sale tomorrow. It's all panic, isn't it? <laughs> At least it's Friday. And it's been a quick week because of the bank holiday weekend. Anyway, let's do this. York, North Yorkshire, are you ready for the week? Weekend, I am. Love this tune. Record of the week from a couple of weeks ago. Post Malone featuring Luke Coombs. Guy for that on Y1 Radio. I got a guy to side in my... Well, that was my record of the week a couple of weeks ago. Guy for that. Post Malone featuring Luke Coombs. Morning. How are you today? 7.15 now. In the morning, in the morning. You'll come on at 2.8. Selby on 90 FM, across North Yorkshire on DAB, around the world on the app Sky Freeview, and your smart speaker, Alexa, play Y01 Radio. And she does it. What about Google? We've got one in the studio, so I've got to be careful with this one. I've got to whisper it. Hey, Google, play Y01 Radio. Is it? Is it having a go? Oh, is it doing it? Oh, no. Please don't. Hey, Google, stop. That's the thing. My wife and I always say they're always listening. Have we turned off the option where they're recording your conversations? It's very intrusive, isn't it? Anyway, good morning. Hopefully you're good. Yes, Oasis. Tomorrow, tickets go on sale. A lot of people are like, how much are they going to cost? Well, ticket prices for tomorrow's reunion ticket sale have been revealed. The cheapest, £73. That isn't bad, is it? We're talking iconic band here. Gigs and tours have revealed the prices that see them play in London, Manchester's Heaton Park, Cardiff's Principality Stadium and Edinburgh's Murrayfield. Uh, if you're lucky enough to bag a ticket, they start at 73 quid. I think that's seated. If you want to stand up, stand up. 151 quid. So there you go. Highest price looking like 151 quid. 73 to sit down. Rather sit down at my age, to be honest with you. <laughs> I won't be in the mosh pit, no chance, but I will be there singing my head off, no doubt about that. Uh, the only thing is, is when they reach the resale, the resale sites are just astronomical. We paid a fortune uh, for some tickets down the years. Um, even on official Ticketmaster, Sabrina Carpenter for my daughter was eye-watering. Honestly, it was almost second mortgage material, that's what it was. On the show today, we are talking about stuff you hated as a as a kid, food here, and you still don't like today. And for me, for, for, for some bizarre reason, and it's in a lot of ingredients for a lot of food, butter. Never been a fan. Always dry sandwiches, always dry crackers. And when we go into a restaurant, I even say, is that steak being cooked in butter? Does butter come on the sandwiches? Please. And they're like, have you got an allergen to that, Mr. Griffiths? And I'm like, no, just don't like it. Just doesn't make me feel very good. Morning, Steve Hughes in York. He said, hey there, Griffo. I'm not a fan of celery. Cannot stand it. And also fruitcake and canned fruit. So don't bring them anywhere near my house. It's a good job. I don't know where you live, Steve. Uh, but thank you so much for getting in touch with the show. Hazel Tetley, she's a regular. She's in Selby. She said, do you remember canned Sago back in the day, Griffo? Yes, I do, because my granddad, Crad, uh, used to enjoy a tin of that with his lunchtime roast on a regular basis. And uh, I was always a fan of ambrosia rice pudding myself. And I used to look at this Sago thinking, what on earth are you eating? Uh, also followed by semolina griffo, which we used to be given at school. Yeah, do you remember school dinners? Oh, my goodness. In infant school, they were the worst. Catering sausages, dried mashed potato, and some slop on the side. And semolina with a skin on top would be the pudding. They improved ever so slightly when I went to junior school. And uh, the desserts got a little bit nicer. Do you remember the uh, butterscotch with the whipped cream on top? Oh, my goodness. Living the dream there. <laughs> 
And morning to Angela Nugent. Your morning, Angie. She's in Strensel. She said, I don't like the taste or smell of chicken. Never liked it. I mean, it's one of the staples of our kind of diet in our house. A lot of the meals get cooked with chicken. I'd like to say I was a veggie, but I don't eat a lot of red meat. Um, let's go down the list here. WhatsApp, by the way, is 01904 53 Morning to Kat Milner. She said she has a chippy tea every single Friday. And my other half likes mushy peas and I hate them. And he always tries to put them close to me and it makes me almost vomit. That is not good. That is not good. I like mushy peas. They always remind me the smell of mushy peas. If you live in Tadcaster or the surrounds, you know the brewery. Reminds me of the hops from the brewery. Right, Boney M next and we've got a check on the roads too. Good morning. Griffo in the morning, 101 Radio. Welcome to Friday. Griffo. 101 Radio. From the scene travel with your collectric from First Bus. That's Friday of the month, 7.22, Griffo in the morning. Uh, the roads are looking fine at the moment across North Yorkshire, which feels bizarre on a Friday morning at this time of the day. But the kids are still off. A lot of people still on their jollies. I'll update you, of course, every 15 minutes. Why one radio from the scene travel. With it's Griffo in the morning. For weather like this for the last few days. It's been so hit and miss, isn't it? We've had a bit of rain in the morning, then it's been nice in the afternoon, and then more rain to end the day. We need consistency in our life. You've got it today. Sunny all day with tops of 21. Friday morning magic. It is going to be sunny all day today. That is Boney M on the flashback on Y1 Radio. 7.26, Griffo in the morning across York and North Yorkshire. Coming up, Sarah's secret survey. And if you know somebody celebrating their birthday today, get in touch. Birthday time on the way too. Griffo in the morning. Did you know? Did you know the greatest playwright of all time, William Shakespeare, invented more than 1,700 words? Absolutely. Uh, Some of those words include moonbeam, laughable, eyeball, bump, champion, bedroom, excitement, and zany. Of course, we use all those words today. He created them. What an absolute genius. Here's another one. You know, bubble wrap, everybody's favorite bit of an Amazon parcel, isn't it? Doesn't matter what you order, the fun is in the bubble wrap, isn't it? Especially with the kids. Can I pop that stuff? I'm like, no, it might need to go back. Oh, go on then. Can I help? Anyway, bubble wrap originally invented as wallpaper. Imagine that! Having wallpaper on your bedroom wall as bubble wrap. Wouldn't last half an hour in my house. We'll be having to repaper again. A little bit like wood chip, right? Hated that stuff too. Did you know there was a prehistoric dragonfly that had wingspans of over two feet? It lived 300 million years ago. Wow, that is just incredible, isn't it? Imagine encountering one of them. We've got moths at the moment that come in at night, and they look pretty similar, to be honest with you. Try and catch one of them takes about half an hour, because they never die, do they? Just don't get them in your wardrobe. Birthday time next. Everybody anticipating getting Oasis tickets tomorrow. They go on sale at nine all around the world on Y1 Radio. It's a bit early in the midnight hour for me. Y1 Radio, Griffo in the morning. Welcome to Friday. That is Oasis. Matt Fred all around the world. Have you seen the kids around town already doing the Liam walk? <laughs> they are, aren't they? I was in York yesterday doing a bit of shopping and the kids are giving it all that. They're just walking down the streets and I'm like, good luck getting tickets on Saturday. Anyway, Sarah's here. Sarah, what's your secret survey today? 37% of us do this every year. Yeah, I know. And I said shop around, didn't I, for car insurance uh, because my renewal, even though I've not made a claim, I've got 20 years plus no claims and it went up by over 200 quid. So I was forced to compare the market. And when I did, I got a better price. I phoned my current insurers and they're still like, no chance, no chance. So uh, I'm switching in two weeks. 
Um, there is a clue on this, and that is doing good. Claire in Dunnington said give blood. Not right, Claire. Great guess, though. Dave in Selby, last-minute Christmas shopping. Who else used to be a Christmas Eve shopper? It's generally the guys. Absolutely. Anyway, Sarah, one more time. 37% of us do this every year. Right, you have a guess at that while I do this. Birthday time. Happy birthday. Whose cake day is it today? Let's have a look at those celebrity birthdays today and hopefully you got in touch and let me know of somebody celebrating. Maybe you're celebrating today. Anyway, some of those famous people include Warren Buffett, the American entrepreneur believed to be worth $80 billion and he's supposed to be tight as they come. <laughs> Honestly, he's only about 5 foot 3, stands on his wallet, he's 9 foot 10. Anyway, he's 94 today and still kicking around, of course, with all that money and all that pampering. Jonathan Aiken, the Tory MP, is 82. Also celebrating is Mick Moody, the guitarist with a band like White Snake and all that, 74 today. Uh, Donna, who remembers Donna? I remember Donna's TV show when I was a nipper. Uh, she was in Eurovision, of course, with all kinds of everything. Anyway, she is 73 today. Also celebrating today is Martin Johnson. Uh, the drummer with Swing Out Sister, 69 today. Paul Oakenfold on the ones and twos is 61 today. Cameron Diaz, I love the movie There's Something About Mary. It's a good film that, isn't it? She's also in Charlie's Angels and other films too. 52 today, Sarah Jane Potts. She's celebrating today Waterloo Road, 48 today. Who else celebrates? American tennis star Andy Roddick today is 42. Happy birthday, Andy Roddick. BB Rex of the singer is 35 in North Yorkshire. Morning to Melanie Taylor. Happy birthday, Melanie in Upper Poppleton. Lots of love from Kev. You're at the hearth. And Denise, your best mate at work. Uh, hello to Sophie as well. Sophie in Tadcaster. She's the big 4 0 on Sunday. Going to Driftfield to Gastro Festival this weekend, Griffo. We might see you. Yes, we're there both days actually. A party of the big summer tour. Have a great birthday if you celebrate this weekend. On the way next, Prince and Shania Twain. Now the latest local news and sport. It's 7.35. With the latest news for York and surrounding areas, I'm Joshua. Italian, where you are always family. Griffo in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Griffo in the morning. It's Friday, the best day of the week. It's also the last one of the month as well. Could be payday for you, 20 to 8. Weather today, sunny all day. Highs in York of 21 degrees. Sarah, what's your survey? 37% of us do this every year. I'm going for shop around for car insurance. What about you? You're in the morning. You have a guess while I play you Prince. Fire One Radio. minutes to eight Friday morning Griffo here that is Shania Twain it was her birthday a couple of days ago and she was amazing at Glastonbury wasn't she in the summer can't believe it's 12 minutes to eight already good morning it's Y on radio across York and North Yorkshire Griffo in the morning, morning. the wide awake club and right now we're doing Sarah's secret survey go on Sarah 37% of us do this every year it's a good survey this it's been going for three days the clue is doing something good Good. Claire hopped on that one. She's in Dunnington. And she said, give blood. Dave and Selby, last minute Christmas shopping. That's a bloke thing, isn't it? Christmas Eve, generally. Buy the first gift, pub. Go for another gift, pub. I know the drill. I've been there, done it. <laughs> the last 30 years. Simone and Tad have a house clear out. Jess and Ryder go on a diet and fail. Morning, Alison in Haxby. Switch energy provider. Car in Strens will pull an all-nighter and miss work. Uh, Claire in Selby said, volunteer. Could be volunteer. Amy in Pocklington, spring clean. Julia in York, join a gym. I'll give you another five, ten minutes on this one. 01904 53 is Dolly and Post Malone. Baby, I don't have the heart to break you. Dolly Parton and Post Malone have the heart. I just can't do it. Great tune, that. That could be my record of the week next week. Eight minutes to eight. Friday morning. Thanks for waking up with Y1 Radio. Sarah's secret survey. Go, Sarah. 37% of us do this every year. I'm going for shop around for car insurance. Apparently somebody's got it. Answer after eight. And the latest on the roads is coming next. Welcome. 
Welcome to Friday. Griffo in the morning with direct tile importers. Plenty of weights. Wire One Radio. From the scene travel with your electric from First Bus. Friday morning, hello, Griffo here. Four minutes to wait. Let's get you updated. A little bit of traffic now heading in from Dunnington at Four Lane Ends up the whole road. 1079 also, a little bit of traffic at Foss Islands Road too. Similar story at Fourford coming into town there. Crocky Hill to Deaton, busy but moving. Roadwork still in Selby due to gas main work at Gowthorpe and also in the centre of Tadcaster on the A659 due to utility work. What? Wire One Radio Weather. Got a nice start to Friday morning. Plenty of sunshine across North Yorkshire. Presently 13 degrees in York. Rising to 21 during the lunch break today. With a moderate pollen count and UV, it's going to be dry and clear tonight. Chilly though. 7 degrees the overnight low. Molten sun will set just prior to 8 o'clock. Sunshine on Saturday and cloudier on Sunday. Wire One Radio Weather. Brought to you by Flamingo Land Luxury Resort Village. Flamingoland.co.uk. Welcome to the best day of the week then. Could be payday for you today. Last Friday, the month. Friday, Friday, Friday. Hey, 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 can you tell us what's going on here? It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Just live and Day morning, 6 till 10. Griffo in the morning. Griffo in the morning. Apparently we've got a correct answer on Sarah's secret survey. Hallelujah! It's only taken four days. Guess the ad yesterday was a tricky one. Did you get it yesterday? It was Cadbury Dairy Milk. Phil Collins on the drums in the gorilla suit. Also, my daughter Alba's here with the final ever joke for the kids. And the music's amazing. Right now, Holly Johnson, Americano. You see the alarm is already going off. off. You're about to snooze it. Snooze it. But wait, you found the right show. It's showtime. It's in the morning. Free. You can be what you want to be. Holly Johnson, Americanos, blue jeans and chinos, Pepsis and Oreo. Griffo in the morning. It's an amazing song, isn't it? Stop snoozing. It's Friday. Shake yourself. Get out of bed. And get to work. You found the right show. And it's been a four-day week for a lot of people because we had Bank Holiday Monday. Here we are then, Friday morning, 30th of August on your local radio station. Why I'm on radio. Could be payday for you today. Last Friday of the month, day 243 of the year. And don't get me started on Christmas. Went into the shops yesterday, already doing selection boxes and all that. It's My wife said to me, should we get our advent calendars? I'm like, they'll be out of date by the time we get to December. I actually did find myself checking one of the boxes and having a look. And it doesn't go off until, I think, April time. It's too early. Far too early. On the survey before, we were talking about doing last-minute Christmas shopping. That, my friends, is Christmas Eve. Always have been, always will. Actually, my wife is so prepared when it comes to Christmas. She is. She's probably got the things in the cupboard, in the wardrobe ready to go already. Anyway, Sarah's secret survey. I believe we've got a correct answer on this. Sarah, what is it again? 37% of us do this every year. Yeah, 37% shop around for car insurance. That's a rip-off, isn't it? I mean, oh, come on, everybody's got to have car insurance. It's by the by, isn't it? But why would they put a loyal customer's car insurance up by more than 200 quid a year, even when they haven't made a claim? Where's the logic in that? Where is the loyalty in that? And that's got me shopping around and that's got me changing my car insurance provider in a couple of weeks. I had to do it. Couldn't be doing that, could I? You know, paying 200 quid more than last year. Anyway, I digress on that because it was the wrong answer. We had a variety of answers through. Clearing Dunnington said, give blood. Dave in Selby, last minute Christmas shopping. Down with that. That's a good one. There was a bit of a clue doing some good. Uh, Julia in York said, join a gym. That's everybody on the 1st of Jan, isn't it, Julia? Yeah. And then paying that monthly subscription all the way through to the summer, even though you went for the first day in January. <laughs> a rip-off, that is. Amy in Pocklington said, do a spring clean. Claire in Selby, visit the in-laws. Cara in Strensel said, volunteer. I think we got a right one there, haven't we? And the answer is, volunteer. Volunteer, yes! At last! Somebody got it! 
Volunteer. When's the last time you volunteered? All right, easy on the clapping. When was the last time you volunteered? It is such a rewarding thing to do. So, uh, well then, Cara in Strensel, uh, who was also the one that gave us the answer, pulled an all-nighter, <laughs> and then missed work the next day. The contrast between the two is vast, isn't it? Uh, tomorrow, then, 9 a.m., I will be taking my youngest son, Ollie, to football. He does a little football tot camp on a Saturday morning, which is on from 8.45 to 9.15. Only half an hour. But you know what that clashes with, don't you? Oasis tickets going on sale on Ticketmaster. (laughs) How am I going to box that one off then? All right, son, you play your football. There's me on my on my device, refresh and getting it all sorted. You are one millionth in the queue and you're there waiting. And he's like, are you watching me score, Daddy? Yes, I'm watching you, son. Oasis, please, tickets. It's going to be one of them. It's going to be stressful. I entered the ballot like a lot of people did and I got the email through. So I'm hoping before, I think it's seven tonight, isn't it? Seven. But I get an email through again saying that I can enter the early purchasing and that will take so much stress off tomorrow. Uh, Liam Gallagher, my mate, if you're listening, right, I'm taking my son to football tomorrow at nine. It's not convenient to be buying Oasis tickets. Can you sort me out? My Liam story, they played Hull. Uh, Ice Arena, two nights. I was sat in the hotel bar, the Holiday Inn on the marina. And I was staying there for the night because I was watching Oasis and in walks Liam Gallagher. Mad for it. All right, Griffel. He didn't know my name, but he sat next to me at the bar. Of course he didn't know my name. And uh, he's like, what are you having? I'm like, uh, I'll have a pint, please. And we sat there for about 25, 30 minutes, having a conversation, chewing the fat. He was the loveliest guy. And now he's my mate, of course. I spent half an hour in his company. He's my mate. Don't have his number. Liam, if you're listening, mate, sort me out. Anyway, on the show today, we've been talking about those foods you absolutely detested as a kid. You hate it, but you still hate in your adult life. Get in touch, 01904 53 For me, there is one food that makes me go, uh, and that is butter. And that will surprise a lot of people. Uh, it's butter. What about you? Keep them coming through. Some hilarious ones. Going to go through them next after my record of the week. This is gorgeous. Brand new for Bruno Mars, collaborating with Lady Gaga. This just works so well. Die with a smile on Y1 Radio. Uh. That is so good, isn't it? Record of the week, Bruno Mars and Lady Gaga. It's called Die with a Smile. The video is amazing as well. Welcome to Friday then, 30th of August. It's going to be a really nice day today. Sunny spells all day long. Tomorrow's looking similar. Big summer tour tomorrow and Sunday. We're going to be in Driftfield for the Gastro Festival. More details on that coming up. Also, how do you fancy going to the darts? VIP. Your barbican, all the seniors are coming. Phil the Power Taylor. Martin Wolfie Adams. Chris Mason and others, including our big winner last year, Leonard Gates. Uh, If you want to go VIP, stay there. Details coming up as well. On the show this morning, we're talking about those foods that we hated as a child, right? And we still don't like to this day. Now, there's lots of stuff I didn't like as a child I now like. Have that little reverse thing going on. Sprouts is one. Do you know, I didn't try corn on the cob till about two or three years ago during COVID. We're having a barbecue and my wife was like, why didn't you try one of these? And I'm like, yeah, not really my thing, to be honest. She's like, have you tried them before? I'm like, no, love. (laughs) Would you like to try one? I'll have a bite. And uh, I love it. Corn on the cob. I'm like, what a waste of life not eating that stuff. Uh, But there is uh, certain foods that I don't like. Um, Celery, never like that. Uh, just it's just awful isn't it rhubarb don't like that and butter is top of the list for me butter of all things everybody loves butter don't they smear it all over the toast all of that so on the show today i'm asking you those things that you hated as a kid you still don't like top of that list has got to be liver morning michelle dale in selby judith billings in upper poppleton liver yeah not really tried that stuff kevin jones he says i have a fry up most weekends griffo and the local cafe i go to now leave off the black pudding because they know that it doesn't make me feel very nice uh, morning jacqueline campbell uh, she's in Malton. morning jacqueline she 
she says lamb and corned beef. I mean, lamb, there's a principle behind lamb, and I know what that would be. Corned beef, what is in that stuff? There's not much beef, is there, I don't think. Unless, of course, you get it from a butcher. The tin stuff, honestly. Goodness me. You open the can, and the whole neighbourhood knows you've opened it. It smells that much. Morning, Andrea Moffat. She said kidney, like in steak and kidney pie. Yeah, I like steak and kidney pie. It's been a while since I've had one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't mind that at all. Pamela Hardman, garlic. I don't like the taste, don't like the smell, and I don't like what it does to your breath. Final one, added, morning, mate. He said, banana. That's another one I didn't like as a kid, and then in my later life, absolutely love a banana. Anyway, there we go. Loads of foods coming through today. Stuff you hated as a kid, you're not really a fan of now. Guess the ad yesterday was a toughie. That was Dairy Milk with Phil Collins on his drum kit. What's it today, then? Guess the ad. Guess the ad. On Wire One Radio. Well, it's a classic. There's strawberry. Made to make him up water. There's lime. Made to make him up water. There's orange. And lemon, too. On a jingle of taste, so refreshing to chew. Made to make him up water. Guess the ad for Friday morning. Advert for what? 01904 53 0043. Alba's final ever joke for the kids soon. The latest on the roads, and we flash back with Chic. Fire one radio. Doing it for Friday morning. Griffo in the morning. <laughs> Wire One Radio. From the scene travel with your electric from First Bus. Friday morning, Griffo here, 8.23. Busy now on the A1237. Heading in from Ascombe, Brian off the 64, heading towards Napton. Also busy this morning through Fulford on the A19. Watch out for that. And also steady between Crocky Hill and Deaton. The usual around town, around Bootham, Chili Gay and the Minster. A little bit of traffic over Lendl Bridge on towards Rougier Street. Also busy in Selby too. They're doing gas main work there right in the centre. Expect some delays this morning at Brook Street on the A19, looking busy there around Ebor Street. Similar story in Tadcaster, actually, bang in the middle. Uh, New Street both ways on the High Street, the A659. Utility work going on there, too. Wire One Radio, from the scene. Guess the ad. Guess the ad. On Wire One Radio. Going back a few years with this one. There's strawberry. Made to make him up water. There's lime. Made to make him up water. There's orange. And lemon, too. On a jingle of taste, so refreshing to chew. All together, made to, to make him up water. What were made to make your mouth water? Classic commercial from back in the day. Might sound familiar to you if you want to guess. 01904 53 0043 on WhatsApp. Sunny all day today. Tops of 21 degrees and a flashback from Chic. Good time. Oh, that is what I call a proper Friday tune. Chic. And good times. Good morning, Griffo here. 8.28. Alba's final ever Joe for the kids incoming. We're doing Guess the Ad as well. How do you fancy going to the darts on us for free? VIP. It's coming to the York Barbican, the World Seniors Darts Tour, October 4th and 5th. Guess just a couple of days ago on the show, Martin Wolfie Adams. We had Phil the Power Taylor on as well, talking about his 16 times World Championships and all of the other accolades he's won down the years. And one he'd really like to win is the seniors. You can be their VIP. Have a look at our social media at This Is Why I Won. Dave Parker is throwing a dart at the board. Tell us how much he scores in the comments and you could be going VIP. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to be there too. Watching, of course, the World Seniors Darts Tour. Your chance to win with Y01 Radio. Guess the ad. Guess the ad. On Y01 Radio. It's a classic, this one, isn't it? There's strawberry. Made to make your mouth water. There's lime. Made to make your mouth water. There's orange. And lemon, too. On a jingle of taste, so refreshing to chew. Made to make your mouth water. First ride this morning, Wendy and Tracy at York Hospital. Well done to you, girls. Then it was John at Hucklebury's, followed by Dave at Stamford Bridge. Want to guess? 01904 53 Classic TV commercial. Tell us what it's an advert for. It's going to be a gorgeous day today. Sunny all day across York and North Yorkshire. Highs of 21 and Robbie Williams. My breath smells of a thousand fags. So when I'm drunk, I dance. You don't have to take the play. 
best from Robbie Williams and Strong at 8.33. It's Y1 Radio. Just the other day on the show, we were talking about acts that you'd like to see support Oasis on their tour next year. Robbie was top of the list. Do you remember when him and Liam always had public spats? Ten grand of your money, ten grand of my money, and we'll fight it out. Bless them. Uh, anyway, it's the last Friday of the month. Payday for a lot of people today. In and out, really, isn't it? Spend it wisely, folks. It'll soon be September, then autumn, then the heating goes on. You know the drill. Thanks for checking out Y1 Radio. We're doing Guess the Ad at the moment. There's strawberry. Made to make your mouth water. There's lime. Made to make your mouth water. There's orange. And lemon, too. On a jingle the taste, so refreshing to chew. All together, made to make your mouth water. water. That is a classic, isn't it? Uh, morning to Wendy and Tracy at your cusps all first right. Team at Crown Paints are on it. John at Hucklebreeze. Gary at Leah Thorpoil and to Big E. Mark of the Three Bears Foundation. Hello to Sophie in New Earswick. Hello, Hannah in Tadcaster. And also Claire in Dunnington. You want to add your guests? 01904 Alba's final joke for the kids next and Danny Wilson. Now the news and sport. It's 834. With the latest news for York and surrounding areas, I'm Joshua. An unforgettable dining experience. Griffo in the morning. Griffo in the morning. Weekday morning, 6 till 10. Welcome to the last Friday of the month. It's going to be a really nice day today. Sunny and dry across York and North Yorkshire. Highs of around 21 degrees. In Moulton tonight, getting chilly. 7 the overnight low, but dry. Sunny Saturday, cloudy Sunday with Danny Wilson and Mary's Prayer. Griffo in the morning. Final joke for the kids on the way next. Y01 Radio. Everything is wonderful. Being here is heavenly. Danny Wilson, Griffo in the morning from Y01 Radio. Good morning. Very sad day here at Radio House today. And the reason is my daughter, Alba, who's been doing joke for the kids since the birth of this show two years ago, is doing a final day today. <laughs> Hello, Alba. Good morning. How does it feel to be on your final day here at Y1 Radio? Sad. I remember doing it when I was little. Can I just say to everybody, she's not been fired from the show, <laughs> have you? No. T- tell everybody the reason why you're not doing show for the kids anymore. Because I'm going to high school and it'll be a bit tricky to go to the radio house in the mornings and then have to drive all the way to high school. I'm trying to talk young Ollie. Uh, our four-year-old into replacing Alba on Joe for the kids at the moment and he's like I'm not sure daddy Um, do you think (laughs) he would be a good replacement he'd be so cute okay well I might include him on the show but we might do something a little different but anyway the jokes have been on two years there's only so many jokes in that joke book of yours which you've got here right now right yes so has it been a blast for you yeah have you saved the best till last Yes. Of course you have. <laughs> we'll do joke for the kids next on Y1 Radio on Alba's final day. Guess the ad. Guess the ad. On Y01 Radio. Right now you're trying to guess this. There's strawberry. Made to make your mouth water. There's lime. Made to make your mouth water. There's orange. And lemon too. On a jingle of day. So refreshing. All together. Made to make your mouth Joke for the kids. <laughs> with Alba. So the violins are out. This is it. Alba's final ever joke for the kids on Griffo in the morning from Y1 Radio. Come on, Alba, what have you got for us? Why did the old man fall in a well? Why did the old man fall in a well? Because he couldn't see that well. Couldn't see that well. Love it. What else you got? What did one hat say to the other? What did one hat say to another? You wait here. I'll go on ahead. (laughs) I'm going to miss this. going to miss that. What else you got? Why don't the circus lions eat the clowns? Why don't the circus lions eat the clowns? Because they taste funny. <laughs> boom, boom. You got another? What did the pirate say when he turned 80? What did he say? I'm 80. I'm 80. <laughs> and your final ever joke for the kids. Go on, make it a good one. Why did the chicken cross the playground? Why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide. Get to the other slide. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, there we go. Two years of jokes, Alba. Thousands and thousands out of that joke book of yours. And uh, the response from you has just been amazing from the audience. They love what you do and they wish you all the best in high school. And so do mum and dad as well, your brother Jake and also Ollie, because we're so proud of you, sweetheart. Thank you. You've been amazing. You've, l- you've lightened up our mornings across North Yorkshire, so thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Uh, we've got to give you a choice of Taylor Swift or Sabrina Carpenter. Are you going for probably Taylor, right? I think I'm going to go for Sabrina. Which one? Taste. Okay, Taste. Yes. No, we can't play Taste. God, Aww. one of the big hits from Sabrina Carpenter. Okay. That's an album track. We'll go Please, Please, Please. Okay, we'll get that one on for you, Alba. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone, and keep it Wire One Radio. It's Griffo in the morning. Final jokes from my daughter, Alba. They were great, weren't they? Sabrina Carpenter, please, please. Alba, everyone. Yes. Maybe something new on the show starting on Monday here on Y1 Radio. Did you get this? The strawberry. Made to make him up water. There's lime. Made to make him up water. There's orange. And lemon, too. All a jingle would taste so refreshing to chew. So many Craig Kessers this morning. Paul in Selby. Morning to Big Ian in Woodthorpe. Uh, Tracy and all the team at DMB Office Spares. Hello, Tracy. Hello to Melanie and Wendy and Tracy at York Hospital. Hello to Mark in New Earswick and Karen. All getting it right. Oprah Fruits. Made to make your mouth water. Another ad on Monday after eight. Rewind time at nine. Going back to the 1980s. In their madness. Also in there today, one of the best from David Bowie. Who remembers this one? One of my favourites. Gets me to the And Blue Monday New Order. Guest on Bank Holiday Monday on the show this week, Peter Hook, who's currently on his world tour. He's coming to the Barbican in October. And of course, we're going to play this in its entirety, the 12-inch mix. You order Blue Monday, kicks off the 9 o'clock rewind. Latest on the road's next and a massive song before 9. The Wild One Rewind. Wild One Radio. Welcome to Friday. Griffo in the morning with direct... Tonight, Rewind on the way next, going back to the 1980s. Get ready to get your Friday morning guests on. News is next after this. Remember this one, Kid Rock, all summer long. It was 1989, my thoughts were short.